I am Nycad, and we are playing Don't Starve. Uh, Don't Starve is a game that's available on Steam for, I think, less than $10. It's still in the beta, not due for a full release until, uh, I think, March. It's a wilderness survival slash kind of survival horror game. The artwork is kind of influenced by Tim Burton, it looks like. Uh, let's click play, and we'll make a new world. Yes. Uh, you can unlock new characters as you go through the world and uh, play through and earn uh, points and experience. Uh, so the, fir the only character we have available right now is Wilson, who kind of looks like Johnny Depp in keeping with the, the Tim Burton-esque feel of the game. He's a gentleman scientist, and he grows a magnificent beard. So we'll generate a new world. How long will you survive? Open question, because chances are you will die early and often in this game. Say, pal, you don't look so good. Well, you're not such a prize yourself, Maxwell. That's kind of a, a rude thing to say to somebody the first time you see them. Um, on our left here we have our crafting menu. So we can click on that and these are the various things we can make. Some of these things are still locked. Uh, to unlock them, we have to use to learn or use a science machine to learn more. The science machine is here. Another thing we have to craft: we need gold, logs, and rocks to make that. Um, down the bottom is our inventory. Things we pick up. These are things we have equipped. Then over on the right here, we have our hunger bar, health bar, and the clock, which is constantly moving forward. Over here is the night. Uh, when the time reaches the night, it gets very dark outside. Uh, we need to make a campfire or we will die in the night. <coughs> so we just start by clicking on things to pick them up. Sapling gets us some twigs. There's some flint, some grass. What we're really looking for, I guess, is the stuff to make. For right now, we want an axe. But we have those things. We'll make an axe. Next, we'll want a pickaxe so we can break these rocks and get some gold to make a science machine. But we'll just kind uh, of gather resources for now. See what we can find. <laughs> That's a turkey. He's kind of quick. I don't think we can catch him. You can kind of trap him like that. Unfortunately, now that is out of range for us. <coughs> I think you can uh, trap him with trees, but uh, we don't really have what we need to do that just yet anyway. This is uh, kind of a, a very tiny grassland, or, or I guess savanna environment, and, and this is, I guess, just kind of a, a generic wilderness environment. And up here looks like it's it's a forest. I think that's what that color is. Chop down this tree, pick up some of these logs, get this sapling. When you chop down a tree, you get logs and pine cones. And you can use the pine cone to replant trees. They start out as these little small things and they eventually grow into this. And in time, they become one of these big ones. And the different sizes drop different amounts of trees, different amounts of acorns or pine cones. It's just 
out of these resources. <clears throat> Get some flint. There's some flint. Uh, yeah, we'll have enough to make a pickaxe. So. Swap out our axe for the pickaxe, go down back down here, break that rock. And we didn't get any gold. I'll keep, keep looking around. If you push the tab button, uh, it opens up your map menu and you can see what's around you. These little jackalope buddies up here, <clears throat> you can, if you approach them, they're going to run kind of towards their hole. So if you approach them from the hole, oh, that wasn't his hole. Maybe that's this guy's. Yeah, there we go. You can, uh, you can intercept them. Getting late, I need to make a fire. We definitely do. Uh, it's just the evening now. Not until it gets to the really dark part is it actually night. So we'll just, uh, wander a little more before it gets completely dark. Uh, you kind of want to make your, your camp near something that will give you something to do during the night, otherwise it's going to be kind of a lengthy wait, unfortunately. I'm not really seeing anything good to camp by yet. Uh, I guess we'll make it here. <clears throat> oh, and this is a forest over there. So, fire's getting a bit low. We can put a log or two on there. And then you see the light radius increases every time you stoke it up. That caught on fire. Um, I guess things near the fire catch on fire too. I know you can use... Uh, is it here? The torch to set trees on fire. So our inventory is getting kind of full. And we do have the materials to make a backpack, so we'll do that. <coughs> and that gives us eight more inventory slots. See our hunger bar is getting pretty low. Uh, we have a carrot. We'll cook that. Just drop it on the fire. It'll cook. And right click to eat it, and that increases our hunger by some. If you cook meat, it uh, or if you cook food in general, it will give you more than if you eat it raw. Now, if you wander into the darkness. It's so dark. Something will get you. And look, that took us down to 33 hit points, so it's pretty... You're not going to survive if you don't have a, a some kind of light source.
what we kind of really would want to find is a spider's den. Because they're kind of neat places to set up camp uh, during the night. Spiders are pretty much everywhere. Like, you spawn on a big platform. Looks like we got two together, so it's probably one big circle here and then another big circle here. And usually they're connected by land bridges. And the world's actually pretty huge. We're just on one island out of probably several. Most of the game is just exploring and seeing what you can find around you. What's that? Okay, we found a... I guess a pig village kind of thing. Now I think these guys want meat. If you give them meat, they'll help you. Um, and if you has meat... I don't. I ate it all during the night, so let's see if we can find some meat. Uh, we need some of those. There's a spider's nest. Two spider's nests. A graveyard. Okay, for that we probably need a shovel. Let's see. Let's, go, let's do some grave digging. <clears throat> or it's not. Oh, and there's some bison. I don't know what what Gord's not would be used for. <clears throat> other than putting into the science machine. Tiny rocket ship. <clears throat> Amulet. Huh. I wonder if, uh... Desiccated tentacle. Hardened rubber bung. Oh, our shovel broke. Well, let's pick up some more material while we're around here. These guys drop beefalo, that's what they're called. These guys drop manure. And we can use manure as uh, fuel for our campfire, or I think also in a recipe or two. collect some of that. It's apparently better fuel than, than wood. Oh, a lot of these guys. Now if you attack these guys, I think they all gang up on you, and you will not survive. Um, they're quite tough, and there's a lot of them. Let's 
go back to where the, that graveyard was and those spiders and we'll build a campfire near there. <clears throat> I think that was up over in this direction. Yeah, there's one of the spiders. So we'll set up camp. Let's do it there. Let's put one of these manure in there. And spiders are very dangerous in a group. If you attack them one on one, you pretty easily kill them and now they're gonna chase us for a bit, but eventually they'll stop. Like there's no way we could deal with a group that size. Not not even a little bit of a chance. Spiders. Even three is probably more than we can handle. I'm getting pretty hungry. Uh, come on, guys. This is, uh, maybe wasn't the best idea. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if these guys are going to leave us alone. It's not looking good. At least those three. Come on, you got better things to do, surely. Uh, we need to get some crap. to be in. There we go. Daytime. They should go away. Or we can get out of the way at least. We can run out of their, uh, out of their range. No, you're dead. There we go. Now, while we still have this fire, let's cook up some seeds. We are in a bad way right now. I don't think I've ever been this low. And see, that increases our health and our hunger by a little. We were at 9, we're at 13 now. 33, so. We are going to need to find quite a bit of. quite a bit of food here. At least we're alright for hunger, but that, that health is going to do us in. That's our goal now, is to find, still find some, uh, find some gold, so we can get that science machine pumping. <coughs> Mandrake. Huh. I wonder what that's for. We really need to find some food now. There's some berries over here, maybe. Did we already picked those. Grab that manure. We already picked those.
jackalope and some berries. Once again, we approach him from this side, and we missed, he was too close. Now, we can make... <coughs> nope, maybe not yet. I think there's like an animal trap or something in here. There's a carrot, that'll be good for us. Come on, buddy, get away from that hole. He's not gonna do it. Um, our inventory's getting kind of full here. We really, really need to make that science machine so we can get rid of some of this stuff. Just go into some some territory we haven't been in yet. Eat that carrot. That would give us room for the meat. Uh, I don't have a pickaxe. Eat those seeds. from one of these. No luck there either. Be this one. Yes, there we go. Gold nugget. What can we get rid of? Um, well, I guess it doesn't matter. <coughs> because we're just going to be in the area here anyway. So we can pick it back up. Um, let's just clear off a little bit more. Where's his hole? It's a long way from it, right there. There we go. Um, like I said, we're probably going to be this area so if we can find something good to set up camp by. Uh, there's a big spider down. Let's set up... Do we have enough stands to make a fire pit? We do. Build a fire pit here. Bam. Put a manure on there. Now we should have enough to make a science machine. So let's build one of those. That spider. These guys shouldn't chase us for very long. Yeah, there we go. Right, some self. That guy's alone. Spiders are taken care of. Let's drop some of this stuff into the science machine. Wow, that gave us 80 research points. That's huge. Because if you drop like one of these monster meat in there, that'll only give us eight points. So wow, those graveyards give you huge amounts of points. Uh, let's put the rocket ship in. And the amulet. Tentacle. That thing. Uh, I don't know if the mandrake's useful for anything. Uh, it doesn't look like anything there. Nothing there. Uh, not really anything there. So, what we probably want first. Oh, crap. Well, 
Okay, so the lesson here is pay attention. Um, next episode we'll restart. We, we, we keep all the, the points we had. I don't think we keep any of the inventory or if we can come pick it up again. But next episode we'll uh, restart, try to survive a little bit longer, and uh, unlock some of those recipes. So I will see you then. Take care.